Hey guys, Techman here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your battery draining really fast on iOS 16. Issue that some users are experiencing, or you might be experiencing, or you might not notice that your battery is dying quicker than it was before on iOS 15. Again, with the new software update, some phones might be affected and some users might be affected. However, there are some things you can do to hopefully fix this issue that you're having with your battery. So if you update it to iOS 16 on your device, which is going to be iPhone 8 and above, you might see this issue and you might not. Again, it's solely depending on the device and what some of the reasons are. Now, it could be a software issue that's happening. And this is where we're going to try to address the issue by going through these troubleshooting steps. And the first one, it's going to be around restarting, force restarting your device. So whenever you upgrade to a major iOS version like 16 here from 15, it's always a good to do a forced restart, which reboots the whole software of the phone and gives it a clean slate start. Although when you do update, you see those restarts that happen. The forced restart is one step further, which I highly recommend to do whenever you do any sort of software update. So on iPhone 8 and above, to do a forced restart, you're going to press volume up volume down and then hold the side button as you can see it'll come up like a menu like this you're gonna keep on holding the side button until you see the screen completely go black you're not gonna slide to power off because that will just be a regular a restart but just keep on holding until you see screen go black and once it's uh, Apple logo you'll let go again it's gonna be volume up volume down really quick and then this big side button now for some reason if you see Siri activated when you did that that means you weren't quick enough so you just gotta make sure you do really fast when you do when your volume up and down it just has to be quick press and then you just hold that big side button and that will give the phone you know clear restart it kind of gives it a fresh clean reboot and any sort of minor software issue affecting the battery health should resolve it now let's say you're still having issues what else can you do to fix that battery from draining insanely crazy so the next thing you can do is actually go into settings and once you're in settings we're gonna hop over to photos so and we're gonna explain why you want to go to photos in the photos you're gonna go to Siri and search and then this option here which says learn from this app so on iOS 16 there is optimization to really scan your photos to be able to make them useful in the series and search and suggestion which again requires indexing and whenever something requires indexing it requires the phone to constantly use the battery in the background and if you have tons of photos and videos this is going to be really again extensive on your phone draining that battery again we've seen people with a lot of photos and videos having this issue and that's why we want to turn this setting off so we don't want it to learn from this app so that's going to be one thing to do the other thing you want to do here again you can turn uh, these off as well where you don't show the content in search again this will kind of allow your again photos from trying to index so they appear in your search and series so whenever you pull down to search something right whenever you're doing the search right it's going through all the apps and photo app tend to be really big because that's where a lot of the photo files and video files usually tend to stay and they're known to be bigger files longer time to index more consumption of the battery after you have done that the next thing you want to do it's going to be around updating all of your apps that you currently have so with the new iOS 16 update, most of the popular app should have a new updated version as well. And if you don't have automated update, you're going to go into the App Store. And once you go into the App Store, right, and get to the screen, you're going to go ahead and take a look at your apps here. So you're going to go down, click on the apps here. And as you can see here, apps that need to be updated will have this update option here. So you want to look for that. You can also go on your profile here. And then from here, you'll see here in the profile icon where upcoming updates are going to be happening automatically. It will show or you can manually update all this. And we suggest doing that by clicking on update all. The reason why you want to update all of these is because the newest version should be more aligned with iOS 16. So each of these apps know there's iOS 16 coming out. So they update the app as well to make sure the phone iPhone app you're running on the iPhone is optimized so that it doesn't do any sort of weird stuff or bugs affecting the battery life. So make sure you update 
all of those apps that you have. Again, go into App Store and like you said, in your accounts here, and you should see update all or go individually update all. The next thing you want to do along with that is actually go into settings. And this time you want to go to battery. And then in battery, you'll notice here, although at the bottom, battery usage by app, and you want to show all activity. And what you're going to do is look for apps that tend to take up a lot of your battery activity that you'll see. They usually go up top. Now within the 24 hour, you can also do a 10 hour and look for apps that again, look like that you don't use as much that might be taking up a lot of your battery. Again, this is important because when it comes to optimizing your battery charging, right, you want to make sure apps that you don't use as much aren't taking a battery because there's some issues going on. Again, important thing. And if it is, what we recommend doing is go ahead and delete an app. So let's say if we, for some reason, we had uh, Reddit, for example, was taking up a lot of battery percentage, but we really don't use the, the app as much. Maybe we use it here and there. We're going to go ahead and press and hold. And of course, we're going to do is remove the app and then we're going to delete the app. Once we delete it, we're going to reinstall it from the app library again. That gives the phone, again, that app, the ability to do a fresh reload of it. And again, reloading the code and making sure there's no issues with it. Now, moving on to the next thing you want to do is go into settings. And this time we're going to go into general and then we're going to look for this background app refresh. Background app refresh basically allows these apps to be basically run in the background to be able to fetch certain data for you. But sometimes it's not optimal because all of these apps are running and they're using up the battery. So what you want to go down here, take a look at things that you don't want constant notification and uh, data to update by itself because once you open it up it always does a refresh then but with this background refresh it's happening in the background so that you can get no noti certain notification you can get it when you open up right away it's there but when if you do it manually it just takes a moment or two so recommend if you can like maybe go to Wi-Fi instead of using cellular and Wi-Fi or the best way to kind of reduce much of your battery life is just simply turning this off. Again, when you do turn it off, it's time, each time you open the app, you just have to refresh and take a moment. Again, it's a personal, personal choice. You can do it individually for apps or a certain app, but usually we recommend if you're really trying to get the most out of your battery to turn that off. Now, moving on to the next thing around, again, it's going to be trying to reduce that battery drain. It's going to be around the mail app. So if you go into mail app, you'll notice here, you'll have a bunch of accounts here. So if you have multiple accounts, it will show up. So here, what we want to do is fetch new data for mail. So by default, what happens is mail constantly, when you get a mail, you get a new update and the mail keeps on coming for you and it's updated. What you can do is manually or change that hour. So it doesn't constantly do that in the background. Usually I prefer manually because it definitely helps save the battery over time. But again, it's something to consider if you're going to be getting mails, again, how important it is. If you want to open the mail app itself or constantly get the notification to say battery, go with the manual. But again, you can also switch it to hourly or 30 minutes to reduce that toll on the battery itself. Now, moving on to the next thing you want to look at, it's going to be around reduce motion. So if you go into settings again, and this time accessibility, and if we go into this motion, you'll notice here this option to reduce motion, including the effect. So if you turn this on again, you'll have less, you'll reduce the motion of the phone so it doesn't do all this extra animation again that could be draining your battery. Again, personal choice if you like that. Again, if you like being able to have that motion or not, you'll, you'll see if we turn it off, see it's different than when you have this turned off where you can see those animation goes away. Again, those animation, again, are a little slight bit, but over time they add up in terms of draining your battery, especially on iOS 16. Now, moving on uh, to the next thing you want to take a look at. So we're going to turn this on just because uh, we prefer it. Our battery hasn't had too much issues, but again, it's something to look at. The next thing you want to check out is again going to be in the settings as well. So when I'm back to main page of settings, we're going to hop over to privacy and security. And then in privacy and security, we want to check out tracking here. So do you want apps to basically allow you to track you? Again, this one again, something I prefer to turn it off generally because I don't want apps to track you each time I'm on it. They're saving data. 
again something you can consider it's even a privacy setting that definitely is good to turn off the next thing is location services now location services enables the gps on your phone and the gps itself on the phone is actually one of the bigger sensors that end up taking a lot of the battery because it has to constantly pull data from the satellite to figure out where you're at especially if apps are using it and that could be draining your battery quicker than you want so what you want to do is quickly look at if it's on which apps are using it as you can see here never is if they're not using it maps for example some apps you'll need it like when you're sharing like you want to make sure those apps are using it so go ahead and check out the list of the apps and turn off to never to apps that you don't want ever for your location services on review the ones that are being shared to make sure that you really want those again key settings in terms of privacy and saving your battery as well again something we usually recommend the next thing you want to do is going to be around the haptic feedback on your keyboard so if you go into settings and go to sounds and haptic and then you'll see here if you go down to keyboard feedback click on that you see there's a new option or in this option again we see some users have it on and off but when you have haptic feedback on your keyboard it's putting more it's putting pressure on the haptic sensors which again is another thing will impact your battery life so if you drop so you don't need that haptic feedback we recommend turning it off so again whenever you're typing on the keyboard especially if you text and browse and constantly are typing you might want to do that just so you can again save a little bit more battery so after you have done those hopefully it kind of stops the bleeding of the battery draining fast but we, as we mentioned this one thing about iOS 16.0, it's the initial version, and that's why you're seeing that battery drain initially. And it could be only for the first couple of days, so you might have to wait it out once a battery goes through a few cycles and the software learns the phone and the battery pattern for it to optimize again. So you might have to give us some time, and so just wait it out. And the other thing to do is updating the phone software. So if you go to settings, general, software update, Although there is an update out yet, which still got 16.0, expect the update 16.1 come out recently. Again, that will address a lot of the bugs and issues. Again, that could potentially fix your battery drain issues if all of these haven't worked within the few days that we mentioned. So wait for update. You'll probably we'll probably see update, and we'll let you guys know once that update is out if that does fix the issue. But these are the things that you can do right now to fix your phone from draining out really quick on iOS 16. So hopefully one of those tips help you guys. We want to hear from you guys which tip help you guys. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section. Also, if you guys updated to iOS 16, what phone have you done it? What's your experience like? Also leave that in the comment section and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.